Hi again, everybody. Welcome to another pop preview. I'm Alex. I'm Sean. And today, I cannot wait to talk to you guys about the Jungle Cruise trailer. Okay, so this movie has been in development for like 15 years. Um, we got wind of it shortly, I think, after Pirates 2 came out because they started to see that they were building this fan base based on this movie that was based on a ride. Yeah. Um, which they really hadn't done before. So I think they were a little surprised and wanted to see how it did. And once Pirates was doing so well, they started to see, like, okay, what other movies can we make from Disney rides? And then we got Tomorrowland. Well, that doesn't count. <laughs> but yeah, yes, the soundtrack remember, for that movie is amazing. Movie, eh, soundtrack. Fair enough, never saw it. Uh, but, so, 15 years ago, I saw that they were, this was in development, and I got so excited, and then the waiting game began, and I pretty much actually forgot about it. I don't know if you guys have had the same experience with this, but I'm really glad that it's here now, because I feel like we need something, because Pirates hasn't been good for a little while. Um, Since the first one. No, I'm actually a big fan of the first three, because I think it ties together really nicely, and it's emotional and all that stuff, but the, 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 the fourth, first no, the fourth and the fifth one are just... The fifth one is, oh god, it's just bad. It's just so bad. Anyway. You finally come around. Oh, I know. I always thought that. <laughs> you, 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 you'd be defending it, though. What? No, I wasn't. The fifth one? Oh, no. Well, no, that movie is absolute garbage. I never, I never defended that movie. No. Uh, oh, anyways. The fourth one I've seen enough that I can, like, pick out different scenes. I'm like, oh, I like that scene. Oh, I like that scene. Oh, I like that scene. But the movie also was not good. Anywho. I digress. The point is that we... Uh, I... <laughs> By we, I mean, well, me mainly, have been wanting another um, <laughs> Pirates-like, Disney ride-themed movie franchise. And so here we are. <laughs> yeah. So I've been to Disneyland a lot, never been on Jungle Cruise, uh, been on Pirates ride a lot, never been on Jungle Cruise. So I really have no idea what the tie-ins are. Oh, I mean, that's so next time, fun for you. We're next time to I go, go to Disneyland, yeah. I will definitely go to uh, Jungle Cruise, before, especially before the ride. We're going to have to ride it like... Out. As many times as I've been on it in my life, which is like a hundred and well, if it's if it's a, if it's a if it's a good ride, sure. I mean, I don't. I mean, I'm, it's it's. I love good rides. It's an okay ride. I mean, it's just like a, a nice little. That's, what so is, it, is it like pirates where you just where you just like? I want to get out of the heat, so I'm gonna go on pirates. <laughs> well, it like... actually is outside. Oh, okay. Um, but you're in this. It actually is like a natural. Like when you're when you're going through like the rainforest, like yeah. it, all the plants are actually real, mm -hmm. and it is like a natural ecosystem, which is really interesting. Which built up because they planted these real plants there. Yeah. So that it is actually almost very jungle-like, particularly in the Disney World version. Yeah. Um, of course, there are animatronic animals and stuff like that, but yeah, it actually is kind of its own little mini like rainforest, which okay. is which is kind of fun. Um, but I don't know. I I when I was a kid. Uh, we used to go to Disney World every single year, so I definitely have a special... I've been to Disney World, I think, every year since I was five, with the exception of the last, well, ten years. <laughs> <laughs> but that's because I moved to Los Angeles and now I can just go to Disneyland. Yeah. So, either way, I've been to one Disney park at least one time every year since I was very, very small. So, um, it's just a very special thing for me. Of course, The Rock is in it. So yeah, there's... I think that's one of the reasons why it got made. Is because Rock so, said, I'll be in it. Oh, fast track. So The Rock is in it. Emily Blunt is in it. Love and it. I love those two people. I just, I think, I love The Rock. I love Emily Blunt. I don't know what else to say. So if you don't know anything about The Ride and you don't know anything about Disney, uh, then there's your hook. <laughs> yeah, The Rock is and Emily Blunt. Yeah. Enough said. Yeah. All right, let's watch it and see what we get. All right. Legend has it there is a tree in the Amazon that possesses unparalleled healing powers. And the arrowhead is the key to unlocking it. Stop her! Hello. Uh, just wanted you to know this has been mislabeled. Oh. Pirates. Those sounds like looking like pirates. The shipping outlets? That could have been from pirates. This one is undoubtedly the cheapest, but also the most thrilling. Heads up, coming through. Look out! Marauders. Oh, 
Raiders. Natives. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've all been waiting for. The backside of water. <laughs> Steve Wonder of the world. <laughs> We're headed up river to Lagrima de Cristal. We must secure our travel. Come on. Hello? Not a good time. My brother and I are looking for passage up river. Please go away. I have a lot of money. If you believe in legends, you should believe in curses, too. You're gonna beg me to turn back. Well, I look forward to disappointing you. 10,000 to bring you there alive. Dead is 15,000. Why should I pay more dead? Dead, I'd have to carry you. Dead's a lot harder, lady. Here we go. Oh, God, sorry, Frank. Sorry, strong form. I cannot swim. You booked a river cruise and you can't swim? The price just went up. So first of all, a lot of different vibes I'm getting from this movie. But the main vibe is the pirates vibe. They are it's basically pirates. It sounds a little bit like it, especially at the beginning of the trailer. Okay, so first of all, that scene of her like kind of busting out of this like second or third story window and like the ladder spinning and it's like shenanigans is very very Jack Sparrow. Yeah. Like I think in the fourth one, there that actually is like how it opens, where he has to like find his way out of the window and then lands on a moving cart. So, like, come on. But it's okay. Because At least she's not drunk, though. No, oh, well, well, we don't know that. Perhaps. Where is the rum gone? We love Jack Sparrow, though. So, But she does kind of have this, like, uh, Indiana Jones kind of vibe, too. Yeah, which I mean, is kind of fun. I'm also getting the, the mummy from, like, the late 90s, early 2000s vibe. Like, it really feels more like that. Like, you just take out Brendan Fraser, you put in The Rock... You put in um, um, Rachel Weisz and you put in Emily Blunt. It has a lot of that feel to me. I, I don't know if you guys it. got that vibe too. Well, I mean, the, I the whole turn of the century explorer thing yeah, exactly. is, is like, you know, a popular trope to, yeah. to embrace. So, um, I mean, I, love the, I like the mummy, so, <laughs> so that's not a knock on it. Yeah, well, okay, so I got so excited because... I was a, f a little bit afraid that they were just going to use the name of the Jungle yeah. Cruise and they weren't actually going to incorporate any elements of the ride, which is really fun for fans like myself. Um, but they did. They, they, they made the backside of water joke. And if you, you've been on the ride, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Right. If you haven't been on the ride, basically it's a boat ride where they have a skipper who just makes puns and jokes the entire time. <laughs> and one of the jokes is you go behind a waterfall and he shows you, or she, the backside of water. Which is like, you know, it's it's still, in context, it's like, you know, they're like groaners. It's like, oh, uh, really? Like, like dad not, jokes? Uh, yeah, they're dead, yeah, uh, puns, basically, yeah. are dead jokes, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, but it is fun that they, they clearly are bringing in some elements, and there were a lot of visual fun. references to the ride. Like, for example, you saw piranhas in the water, okay. in here, and the there's natives? like the, the natives, yep, okay. and, and, and <laughs> there is like some jokes around the natives, which may or may not be very sensitive. Uh, but hopefully they, you know, fixed that in the movie. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. So I'm looking forward to that, the similar vibe as Pirates, but now with this new adventure. Yeah. Better. I mean, I, I, so I love The Rock. I, I like the, the, the world that they're building. Um, I do want to go on the ride to kind of then see, be able to pick things out of like, oh, that's yeah. from the ride, that's from the ride. Yeah. But I just, I just like the world they're building because you can easily just see this becoming, yeah. if it does well, another franchise like Pirates. Yeah, Pirates. It doesn't have to yeah, necessarily go down that same road because I don't know if it, if it well, lends itself the same way as Pirates does because obviously Jack Sparrow is a pirate, it just lends itself more to being more of a franchise than maybe Jungle Cruise does. I don't know about that because, I mean, there's a similar vibe of like, oh, I have this boat, I can go anywhere I want type of I thing. Guess, so yeah. you can kind of hop around, meet different people, go to different ports, 
you know, figure it out. Of course, yes, there is the anti-hero quality of Jack Sparrow that's very enticing, mm -hmm. but we don't know a lot from this trailer about who The Rock's character is. No. Like, maybe there is also kind of like a... He does seem to be a little obsessed with money, so maybe he... Yeah. So, like Jack Sparrow. So, you know, I can see a couple of parallels there and see how this might work. Additionally, they introduced the magic quality. The, yeah. oh, you have to believe in curses, which is kind of like Barbosa's line... In the first Pirates, it's like, you best believe, better believe in yeah. I'm in Ghost Story. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really messing that up. Yeah, you nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean. So, yeah, you can definitely see, like, there's some magic involved. Mm -hmm. And when there's magic involved, you can pretty much do anything. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, the, the you're off front for racist. But I do like the idea of Rock, like, the Rock's character, like, in the money. Because mm -hmm. maybe he's in money trouble. And he's like, you could play that trope where, like, oh, if you don't pay the money, we'll take mm -hmm. your boat away. So right. he's like. And normally I would take this job, but I kind of need the money, so I'll take the job. Like, you can, you can have fun with that kind of thing. Of course, and then of um, course that gives him somewhere to go in terms of his morality, yeah. where it's like, hey, maybe I should care a little bit more about not just myself and not just money. Maybe there is something bigger that I need to be a part of. So oh. there's an arc there. It also seems, seems like she's very work-oriented, so maybe her arc is like, oh, I better learn to maybe slow down and... Mm -hmm. Smell the roses and look at the backside of water. <laughs> um, so, you can, so yeah, you can, you can already see how like it, it could work. Yeah, it's not like the deepest. You know, just probably not going to make you like think. Oh, you know, well, like it's not so like you, you want to have fun. Yeah, it's it's a movie like the, a lot of rock movies. You just want to ah, enjoy it. Yeah. eat some popcorn, have fun, enjoy. It. I'm like ah, oh, that was a nice two hours. Popcorn and, and milk. Then, oh yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm looking forward. Totally. You kind of. Also, kind of give you like the Han Solo kind of feel. Like. I was just gonna say that actually. Yeah. When you mentioned taking the boat away, I was like, right. oh, it reminds me a little bit of the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, it could be. Um, so yeah, it is definitely like a formula that I feel like they're using. I mean, they get the plot like like right away. Sound design and just like you know the the details. So aside from that, though, I really hope that there's gonna be some kind of dark. Like pirates had this darkness to it almost that was kind of like the first one yeah absolutely that was kind of like really got you a little bit in mm -hmm. the heart and I'm, I'm hoping that they bring that in without I don't want them to use the formula without actually the heart of it yeah does or, that make sense yeah or establishing their own thing and I do like the fact that the director also on um, the rock enjoyed his time doing drum crew so much that he got him on, on black adam if that movie ever gets made, it's been in development for another... That's a, been another movie that's been in development for some time. So The Rock obviously had a good time making Jungle uh, Cruise. Otherwise, he wouldn't have um, brought him on to Black Adam. But so. also, The Rock does pretty much everything. He's in like one yeah. zillion movies a year. I mean, so. We're going to see him later this year. So it, if he it, chooses to do a movie, it doesn't necessarily mean something. <laughs> uh, we're going to see another Jungle movie this yep. year Jumanji, Jumanji so we're gonna see Jumanji or Jumanji 3 however you wanna technically call it <laughs> right yeah so he's gonna be in a lot of Jungle movies uh, recently so that's nice yeah but any other thoughts about Jungle Cruise no I mean I'm kind of um, I think we will get another trailer yeah of course I, I we'll doubt go. I doubt it's gonna tell us much more but I am curious um, but what I'm more curious about right now is if you guys want to let us know in the comments below, are you a fan of the ride? Did you catch any other little Easter eggs from the ride that I might have missed? Or maybe you caught a whole bunch of parallels between this and Pirates. There's definitely that same vibe. It almost sounds a little bit like Hans Zimmer. I didn't check who the composer is. Maybe it is him. I, I doubt it. I doubt him, it. But, it's, but still, yeah. there's that vibe. Maybe you guys um, picked up on some of that. Um, how do you feel about The Rock being in a role like this? How do you feel about Emily Blunt? being in a role like this, who is just this proper Mary Poppins lady, and now she's this proper Indiana Jones, I guess. <laughs> one of the Mary Poppins, too. Yeah, so I really want to have a conversation with you guys below, because obviously I'm, I have mixed emotions, and I'm excited, but also the stakes are high for me, because I've been wanting another ride movie for so long, maybe you guys feel the same way, so let's definitely have a conversation below, and... Be sure to like, subscribe, and do all of that stuff so that you can get notified when we do um, a review on the next trailer and, of course, the movie itself, plus a whole bunch of other different movies and things like that. Yes. So thank you for joining us today. Uh, until next time, I'm Alex. I'm Sean. Bye. Bye, guys.